Coca-Cola as part of their Rugby World Cup campaign. We're doing a little bit of a ball amnesty, so you can bring in your old tennis ball, golf balls, basketballs. And then getting a free Gilbert rugby ball in return. And we've pulled out some tennis balls today. <laughs> yeah, lucky I had a few in the, in the bag and then uh, swapped them over. idea is we just want to get more people accustomed to rugby, get them with a ball in their hands, and hopefully then we'll get a few more people interested in the game. We're a big rugby family. Fred particularly is very much into his rugby. I play for my school team and then I got put through for county trials this year. The whole initiative is about accessibility. People think that rugby is just go and you have to run into each other, hit people as hard as you can, but it's not. There's so many different variations. We've also got, you know, players such as Emily, Natasha and Mike on hand to like technically teach people. So behind us we've got a little passing challenge. We've been okay at it, some of the kids and the, the parents have been far better than we have. The squad itself is really exciting, we've got so many players that are going to be amazing and the fact that it's in the country and it's just starting to build now. I think my expectations are that that feeling that was there in 2012 for the Olympics, the, the buzz around the whole town, that the, the feel good factor that was all around, I'd love that to be there for the World Cup. Watching it at home um, for most of it, yeah, trying to put a bit of annual leave for most of it. If you go to the website winnerball.co.uk, insert the code and you've got a chance of winning a brand new rugby ball.